So uh, this is why I stopped playing and uh, posting Destiny. I mean, I don't know if I've said this before. I don't know if I've told you guys the truth in the path of why I actually stopped playing the game. Why I actually stopped posting about the game. Uh, well, today we get into it. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So why did i actually start playing desto why did i start posting about the game on my youtube channel well a couple of reasons and something that came to light the other day just brought back all the memories of why i stopped now i started with destiny bit basically day one uh d1 i mean it catapulted my channel i'm not gonna lie it went my channel went from being basically as dead as it is now <laughs> because literally no games to post people nothing to post i mean it's that bad i'm actually talking about destiny but yeah my channel went from me covering all kinds of different games i mean i never had nowhere to go in terms of i never had actual game i was 100 dedicated to like i was on destiny one when it dropped so i was covering this that and the other watchdogs call of duty gta uh, but i never got that one that one game which I could stick with until Destiny 1. Uh, so Destiny 1 dropped, I mean, I posted about it for, I don't even know people, years. One of the biggest Destiny YouTubers without a shadow of a doubt, um, to a point where it was utterly crazy being invited by Bongo out to all these places all over the world, loving it, spending time with other creators, enjoying my time there, and it was quite a bash. Well, uh, what happened was, is I was receiving so much hate, it was unbelievable. Now, as far as I'm aware, all this hate came from me supposedly making clickbait thumbnails. I mean, I mean that's as, about as bad as it got in terms of what I was doing. I was doing nothing else besides being one of a few people in the entire Destiny community who spoke their mind didn't give two shits about what Bungie did I mean in terms of if they made the wrong decision I'd, I wouldn't sugarcoat it and brand knows I'd say it how it was a lot of people respected that but a lot of people didn't like that um, a lot of people should just thought I should just play ball and suck up whatever they do uh, you know just sugarcoat it which just isn't me I ain't like that whatsoever I mean as much as I appreciated Bungie and what they did for me in terms of changing my life with the game inviting me out all over the world this that and the other I mean I appreciate that I'm not gonna lie but that doesn't mean I'm gonna lie to my audience if I'm unhappy with their game so I never did but yeah as far as I'm aware uh, the clickbait thumbnails which I'm guessing well everyone everyone these days people everyone's making clickbait thumbnails i mean it's just i think i was just ahead of the time you know what i'm saying but um besides that and the speaking my mind i just i just don't know where all the hate came from i mean i was getting hate left right and center post any video constant hate it was it was ridiculous i mean it didn't really get to me at first i wasn't really fussed about it i mean it takes a lot i got super thick skin well, it's just not nice to upload in a video. I mean, obviously they had a load of supporters as well, but I had an equal amount of hate. No two which ways about it. I think it's more of a point as well as how popular I became so quick as well. A lot of people didn't like that. I know a lot of other content creators didn't like that. And I'm not saying other content creators sent their armies to get me or anything like that. It's definitely not true as far as I'm aware anyway. But I know I did, get, I did have a few call outs from a few couple idiots on Twitter here and there. Uh, I remember one time I made a video talking about Devroom K and about how him being gay and that was a great thing. That Bungie adding gay characters into a game, openly gay characters into a game. At a time in, uh, was it early, was that early D2 days? It was early D2 days. I mean, it, you didn't really see that. So I made a video uh, talking about it. I had a guy call me out on Twitter because I titled the video wrong. I don't, I don't know. Um, saying I'm homophobic, I'm this, that and the other, he had all his little cronies come after me as well uh, and then when he actually watched the video, he retracted his comments, deleted his tweets and basically admitted he got the wrong end of the stick and well, well, a few months after that guys, I was announced as Bungie Bounty um, but what happened was when Bungie announced I was their bounty uh, a lot of his old cronies that followed him popped back up and said how are you going to make a homophobe uh, 
P. Bungie Bounty, this, that, and the other. And this is when Bungie was still partnered with Activision. Um, and I actually got a call from Activision saying that Bungie think it's best if they take away my Bungie Bounty because obviously they can't push my stream if it's going to entice people to hate and bully. I was like, I don't give a shit. Let them come and do this crap. It's a load of nonsense anyway. But obviously Bungie, just looking after their own asses. Can't really blame them, to be honest. I don't want to promote bullying. And if I did make a stream and it had hundreds of people just sitting there just cussing me, bullying me, calling me this, that and the other, whatever. I mean, it's not going to look good on their behalf. So obviously they cancelled my Bungie Bounty. And it was what it was. No hard feelings on my behalf. I'm not going to lie. Didn't really care, to be honest. But it would have been a great opportunity nonetheless but like i said the hate was still there it was just absolutely ridiculous i know these days you got something called cancel culture which wasn't really a thing back then well it was a thing but it just wasn't it wasn't titled anything but trust me guys if i made the slightest mistake if i cost too hard or something it was like i was trying to be cancelled any given time or chance it was literally like that 24 7 a day people try to type my name in on reddit type dpj into reddit and if you can go back as far as d1 days you will see the amount of hate i got and like i said i just don't know where it came from but it, it ultimately led to me not enjoying the game no more not posting the game no more i mean the hate i can deal with but it's just not fun at the end of the day i mean destiny was a chore in the end with me with d2 when i stopped playing it it was in a bit of a shit state it weren't the worst Destiny's been in its history, but I was just so fed up with the same shit over and over. The bungee excuses that they were doing at the time. It was just a boring game. It was slow with views at the time as well. I was just absolutely fed up with it. And don't get it twisted, I was making, still making plenty of money on YouTube. Uh, posting about it and covering the game. I was still making more money than, than I am now. But I've always had one rule when it comes to content creation that is if I ain't enjoying the game I'm not gonna post it no more. I'd rather be broke and happy than have plenty of money and be upset and just bored out my brains and just not basically enjoying it. So that's the decision I took I just decided to stop and as soon as that big game come I just jumped ship I just could not be bothered with destiny anymore and it's mainly due to the community that surrounds it now the destiny community nowadays is far worse than what it was back then I mean it's ridiculously toxic I mean it was it was toxic back then but these days guys it is so toxic it is on real it's so crazy to see I mean I mean I don't post destiny no more I mean, I thought about jumping back on the game when the witch screen drops. I mean, I thought, you know what? I may as well. It looks good. I may as well just have another little minor shot at the game. If it works out, it works out. If it don't, oh well. Not really lost anything. But like I say, the community these days is just... I mean, don't get it twisted. There's still some decent folks out there who still play the game. But the majority of what I am seeing, especially on social media, in terms of Reddit and Twitter, people just don't care they're just looking to cancel anybody they're looking for any flaw in anyone's game like their lives are fucking perfect and just trying to just drag them into the in into the ground just drag them through all the dirt at any chance possible i know i suffered with this back in the day i mean but these days these days it's just utterly nuts but back in the day when i was getting hated on no one gave a crap i barely had anyone defending me and literally I barely had anyone defending me a couple of pals of mine a couple of my supporters on YouTube but that was it I mean if I search my name into reddit back in the day pure hate pure hate every 100 comments I had hatred for me one person supported me it was literally that bad I used to look through reddit to be honest to cheer myself up because sometimes it was just so funny what people were saying it's like it was so bitter it just made me absolutely scream out loud but yeah, I had no defence back in the day. These days, if it was the same scenario with the community now, I don't know how they would react. I don't know if I'd be defended or not. But there's silly little things like the clickbait thumbnails I was doing back then and talking my mind back then. It's kind of accepted these days. Every content creator I'm seeing now posting Destiny 2, well, 99% of them anyway. They're all doing what I was doing back then. I mean, I was just ahead of my time, like I said. Now it's literally a fight for those views with Destiny. So everyone's just doing... There was clickbait thumbnails, there was nice titles, there was titles that draw you in. Best roll of a weapon when the game, or the weapon's been in the game for like two minutes. This roll, that roll, get this roll, get that roll, farm this, farm that, farm this, farm that. I mean, I was doing all that shit. 
But there's no, there's no real competition back then. I mean, there's a few content creators, but no crazy competition nowadays. There's six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, a thousand people posting Destiny on YouTube. It's just utterly crazy. But yeah, back then, like I said, no one defended me. These days, these days when someone makes a mistake, I mean, a fellow content creator called, I think his name's Clyde, I'm not even sure. Can't read his last name. But, um, he was streaming his best of 2021 moments. He, firstly, let me just get straight. I am not defending nobody. I am not on anyone's side here. But what happened was, and this is a great demonstration of cancel culture these days. The clip we see is he... Basically, his dog's trying to chew his GoPro or something. Because something in his lap, his dog's trying to take off him. And he just literally, he kind of shoves it, but he does it with a little extra force. And dog goes flying back into a little mini fridge. Now, this is a big dog. Let's not get it twisted. This is a big-ass dog. I think it's a Doberman Pinscher. Uh, it looks like that anyway. Uh, I think his name's Four as well from the comments I'm seeing on Twitter. A lot of people are just, a lot of people are on his ass for it. And I mean, I can understand why from this 10 second clip, a lot of people ain't happy with his actions, which is truly understandable. You don't do that to a dog, especially on stream. Um, it's just what it is. It's a big dog. Yes, it's everyone's pointed out that it's, it's not going to hurt this dog at all. But the fear in the dog's eyes is, is like the dog was scared, which rightly so. He's the biggest dude. Um, he pushed the dog with some force. I mean, you'd need to use force anyway to move the dog. And that's not got it twisted. If you did a little slight push to that kind of dog, it would think you're playing with it. It would probably jump up higher. So he's used a lot of force on it. But it just isn't a way to discipline a dog that big. I mean, I've, I've had quite a few big dogs. So I'll put one on screen now if I remember. This is my 60 kg German Shepherd. His name was Demon. I had him on, on, like a police dog, I had him under crazy control. But I never really whacked him or hit him or anything like that pushed him or nothing like that i mean i gave him a few taps on his nose here and there but that was more or less when he was growing up and that was like if he tried to bite someone in the street i give him a quick little backhand on his nose or something like that uh, but i'd never pushed him to hurt him or shoved him or anything craziness but i understand the discipline needed to control big dogs like that and that is definitely not the way to do it but the problem is we only saw a 10 second clip and i mean I woke up, I looked on Twitter and I made a joke about 2022 is off to a great start. The first thing I see is some guy elbow dropping his dog. He never elbow dropped his dog, he just kind of shoved him. But the amount of hurt this guy was getting was absolutely unreal. And this is from a 10 second clip. And it didn't make it any better that he added it to his 2021 highlights reel. I mean, that's the crazy thing to me. I mean, you're throwing your dog into a fridge, you've well, not hurt your dog, but you've upset your dog. Your dog looks scared, looks shook. Understandably, you're his master. I mean, if I raise my my voice to my dog, he cowers down. That's just the way it was. But that never come from me whacking him or hitting him or throwing him or shoving him or doing this, that and the other. That's just the way it is. You got to be a master in your house when you have a dog that size. Anyone tells you any different? Trust me, they've never had a big dog like that. Because a, a Doberman Pinscher, German Shepherd, Rock Wallable Mastiff, these dogs, they need control and they need to know that they are not the master. If they think they're the master in the house, trust me, it's not a good thing. But yeah, adding it to a highlights reel was just a wrong thing to do. Like it was a funny moment. I mean, it just wasn't. <laughs> it just wasn't. And then I think the same night he was on his stream saying no one was complaining about it eight months ago when the incident happened. Which I guess is the, well, the truth. No one gave a shit eight months ago. Now he's a much bigger dude uh, in terms of popularity people are all of a sudden calling him out over it is there clout involved do people want that clout i have no idea but at the end of the day it was from a 10 second clip the full clip as far as i am aware he checks on the dog not long after checks the dog's okay this that and the other i mean i've seen a few clips i've seen a few photos he clearly loves his dog he clearly cares about his dog and one stupid incident like this shouldn't ruin a man's reputation nor career and I know a lot of people were saying, well, if he just owned up to his mistake and didn't be an ass about it, this, that and the other, uh, there wouldn't be a problem. He wouldn't be trying, or well, people wouldn't be trying to cancel him. The thing is, if he's apologising about it to his dog and he's checking his dog's okay eight months ago, you just don't see that part. And what does he need to apologise for now? The people he's upset? I mean, he's upset, yeah, because he threw his dog intentionally unintentionally but didn't really mean to do it would no doubt take it back if he could but at the time he checked his dog was okay and his dog still nowadays looks 
big, fit and healthy, doesn't look hurt, doesn't look scared, isn't timid of him, which is a great sign if someone abuses their dog. I mean, I've seen a few dogs in the past where you don't have to raise your hand by them and the dog's scarp as the dog's out of there. His dog definitely don't look that, like that to me. His dog looks like it loves him. He looks like he loves his dog. Yes, he made a mistake. He threw his dog. He probably pushed it too hard. He does seem like a hothead. He does seem like he has a temper. That doesn't mean he abuses his dog behind the scenes. He just went AWOL one time. He just out of control one time and threw his dog. Like I said, he apologized. Well, I say he apologized to his dog. He checked his dog was okay um on the stream not long after that incident and this was eight months ago now on twitter i am seeing people say well if he just hold own up to his actions and stop being a dick about it kind of just why has he got to own up to his actions i mean if he's checked his dogs okay eight months ago his dog's still in great shape now still looks fit and healthy still love each other why has he got to apologize for his actions to the people who were calling him out what's he got to do with them it's him and his dog it's got nothing to do with the people that watch him or the people that just want to spread this bullshit about him he needs to lose his dog he's probably being people the things i've seen that's what i'm saying cancer culture these days just takes one instance one mistake he's clearly made he's, he's admitted to it he's he's apologized for it as well but one mistake he made and they're trying to just ruin him i mean it's utterly nonsense it's just so crazy and I mean, that's what that's what I'm saying. It brought back all the memories of when I was playing in covering Desto. People in their witch folks just just want to get you. Any any mistakes you make, motherfucker, in this community these days, they're on your ass. You have to be a goody goody motherfucking two shoes, not do nothing wrong before they even accept you. And I'm not down with that bullshit, man. I'm, I'm I am not that person. And that is what destiny the community has evolved into it's what it's evolving into it's a, it's a place where people think they're so high and mighty they think that they can run and rule your life because you play a game that they're a part of you play a game that they support they're a part of a community around a game that you play and you make one more fucking mistake and they're gonna come for your ass i mean i ain't just i just ain't down with that in the new times man I mean, it ain't just the Destiny community evil, but the Destiny community is a good example of some of the scumbags we have. And like I said, I think the entire Destiny community, I mean, a lot of them are good people, a lot of them are down-to-earth people, a lot of them are just normal people, but there's a there's a side of them which think they've got no skeletons in their closet, no goody-goody two-shoes, angels, this, that, and the other. And you make one more fucking mistake and they're ganging up and they're bringing your ass down problem is people there's a lot of people out there like me that just you can't cancel somebody who don't give a fuck about being cancelled and that is it some people will never change some people are just legit real i'm one of them i can tell clyde's one of these people as well there's a few others out there that just say it how it is and i straight up real on camera yes clyde made a big mistake in throwing his dog he should never have done that he's an idiot for uploading to a 2020 on highlights reel he's owned up to his actions he's checked he checked his dog was okay on the stream back when he did them when he threw him into the fridge what more do you want from the dude apart from to be better in the future which i'm guessing he will be he will learn from his mistake but i'm still seeing people trying to cancel him for this it's just nuts and like i said this is one of the main reasons guys i just I start playing this game, I start posting this game because the community is just so harsh on people for the most minute of reasons. And like I said, with me, it was just clickbait thumbnails, me talking the truth. And I'm guessing it's just growth as well. With growth comes a lot of hate in general. So when you just get popular pretty quickly, like I was doing, it comes with just a lot of hate with it. And it's still apparent and it still happens these days with other content creators. I was also never a part of any kind of content creator bubble as well. I mean, you've got a lot of bubbles these days where big content creators join together, join their own groups and just help each other out and grow. I was never in any of those bubbles. I was always kind of a semi outcast. Even though when we did go to the, the studios together, it was all cool to each other. But I never had no real good pals there. Besides Barry, easy now. And that's only because he lives five minutes from my house. But other than that, nah, nothing, nothing major, no buddy buddy you come to my house and we have a beer and watch a film kind of shit none of that so that could have been one of the reasons too i just i don't know i don't know such a long while now but like i said all the all this what's happened with clyde 
and his big old dirty dome and pincher and all the hate this dude's got over the past few days for the most minute of mistakes he's made i mean i could understand if he did what that no say no to fucking whatever his name is was doing and was called out for i mean i don't even know the full story on that to be honest the only shit i saw is what actually people were posting on twitter i did kind of jump on a bandwagon because a lot of people that was talking about it were people i thought well you can trust these kind of sources but i don't know thinking about it now a lot of that could have been bullshit i'm not saying it was but thinking about it now it could have been but i've stayed away from that i've made a few jokes about clyde and his dog but i'm more or less staying away away from that as well because i know exactly how it feels to be well for people to try and cancel you out over some dumbass shit but i'm afraid this is the kind of world we live in these days and these gaming communities can be pretty harsh and destiny's one is one of the harshest out there for a toxic little immature cancer culture wannabe motherfuckers and there's a lot of people just trying to chase that clout to any given chance they are on it like a fly on shit so you yeah, guys the real reason i more or less got bored the real reason i just couldn't post and play Destiny no more is because it was becoming a chore and at the end of the day although the money was good i just don't think it was worth it because it just wasn't making me better as a person it wasn't making me happy i just seen all the hate and the bullshit i thought i'm better off without this i don't need this shit in my life and no doubt you'll see this video will get some hate too which is all good and dandy a lot of people want to agree with my opinion a lot of people will i don't give a fuck paypal all i know is there's new games coming this year and i cannot wait for them they're still like i said i may try and uh, jump back in with witch queen but we will see people well yeah guys i was gonna say short but sweet video i've been recording for 20 plus minutes shit i thought this was gonna, gonna go on for about five minutes jesus man jesus okay i'm ending it here People, hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on that next one.